A name only gets you so far. Passion, discipline, hard work, humility. Those traits built my family's name, and I'm using them to carve my own legacy. I'm Hunter Labrada. Hey guys, I'm Hunter Labrada. I'm here with my dad, IFBB Pro Lee Labrada, in Columbus, Ohio at Ignite Fitness. About to hit a little arms. We're going to start with triceps and move on to biceps. For the rest periods today, we're going to be uh, taking just enough time to really catch your breath. Since it's an arm workout, it's not really legs or back or any huge body part that's extremely taxing. That being said, it's almost part of the workout to keep the intensity and the pace going. It'll get more blood flow and a greater pump. Now, well, it's time for me to go get beat up by Lee. Hope y'all enjoy this workout as much as I do. We're starting with a close grip bench press. We're gonna start a little lighter since it's a heavy compound movement and we're not uh, warm from doing chest or something. It is just an arm workout. So uh, you'll notice his grip, it's right there at the uh, start of the knurling. He's going all the way to his chest, but just shy of lockout. The reason uh, we do it this way is it A, keeps the stress off of our joints. Whenever you're locked out, it's all on your joints, not on your muscles. And two, you keep constant tension on your tricep, making the exercise much harder. So a little uh, theory behind why we do it that way. All right, Hunter, let's go. It's uh, quite, quite interesting to be in this position where uh, my son is an up-and-coming bodybuilder, an aspiring professional bodybuilder, and he's making great progress. And uh, I I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's like seeing myself all over again, but uh, a bigger and hopefully better version. We're gonna do four actual working sets of this. We're aiming for uh, 12 to 15 reps, a little higher in the rep range. That way we can keep the weight a little lighter and uh, get a little bit more blood in those triceps to move on to our next exercises. I always tell everyone that uh, your weight training is kind of like an equation, and that equation is your intensity equals your weights used times the reps performed divided by your rest time. And you know, it's kind of like a mathematical approach or whatever, but you know, it's like a variable. You have three variables to mess with. You have the weight used, the reps done, and the rest time. So uh, me particularly, I've experienced the best results manipulating the reps and keeping the rest and the weights uh, somewhat the same. The pace was 60 to 70 seconds of rest in between the entire time. There's a huge difference between that or resting like two or three minutes in between each set. The pump's not even half of what it is. So definitely kind of like to uh, keep that intensity equation in mind whenever I'm training. I'm gonna go to the big boy weight. <laughs> For the skull crushers today, we're going to do them on a flat bench and we're going to do them with an easy bar. Take a little stress off your wrists, allow you to turn them out a little more. Um, if you notice what he's doing, he's keeping his elbows in and keeping it very slow and controlled and getting a good pinch the whole time. That's really important with this exercise. A, you won't get hurt, and B, you take a lot of the uh, exercise off your triceps and put it on your shoulders and other places whenever you get your elbows out. So that's definitely a big point in this exercise is elbows in. We uh, share a common philosophy on our training, you know and that includes the form. So we don't like to really lock out on movements. We like to keep the tension on the muscles. We like to use heavy weights. We like to go to the point of failure. Yeah, man. focus of the workout is going to change a little now. We're going from actually exhausting the muscle to trying to just increase the blood flow and the pump. So what we're doing right now is one arm cable push downs. You'll notice Lee isn't using a handle. There is a reason for that. Whenever we are uh, posing our side tricep, it always comes like this. This is just kind of reinforcing the contraction and really forcing the blood in there. So that's the reason why we do it with no handle. Uh, rep range for this is going to be 12 to 15, a little higher rep. Like I said, we're going more for blood flow right now. Lee's got quite the pump right now, so it looks like it's working. Burning too. <laughs> All right, your turn. 
You know, I'm uh, 21 years old, so I'm not that old yet. Kind of started off with a base in football, like a lot of uh, now bodybuilders have in the past. So um, I started off like uh, lower reps, compound movements, and I felt like that really gave me a strong base to build from, to jump into the bodybuilding. Whenever I was actually made up my mind that I was done playing football and wanted to pursue bodybuilding, I had developed legs, I knew how to properly perform exercises, I had a great strength and conditioning coach in high school, so that really lended itself to giving me a good base. Our last and uh, final tricep exercise is going to be rope pushdowns. Doing this a little lighter, a little higher reps, 15 to 20, really just exhaust it and put as much blood as we can in there before we move on to biceps. Something you'll notice about when he's doing this is the bottom of every rep, he's really turning his hands out and getting full contraction with the triceps. It's very important when doing it lighter weight like we are because, you know, like the lighter weight's not really stimulating as much as it could be whenever you're locking out like that. So. You know, workouts like this will lend to putting on the mass. The most important thing though, and it's something that I, I experience all the time with kids trying to put on weight is, I'm not growing, what can I do? And I'm like, eat more. You know, it's one of those things, it's a very simple thing. You have to take in more calories than you're expending every day. You have to take into account your base metabolic usage, which is like your organs and everything, which your body uses just to run during the day. You gotta add in all of the calories burned performing your day-to-day -day routine, whether it be work or taking the kids to school or this or that. And then finally, you have to add in the calorie expenditure you experience during your workouts and your cardio. When you arrive at that number, you gotta add calories to that. You gotta be, have a surplus of calories to be able to put on weight. Squeeze at the bottom. Really hold it. What? There you go. Good, good, good. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Uh, good job, man. All right, guys, so we finished up with triceps, moving on to biceps now. First exercise we're gonna be doing is standing hammer curls. A uh, couple coaching points for this. You'll see Lee is keeping his elbows back as he curls, and then his hands slightly out. What that's gonna do is allow your brachialis to contract as much as possible. Also, you'll notice he's doing both at the same time, even though we're using a dumbbell. With the lighter weights, we're gonna do the whole sets like that, and then when we get into the heavier weights, we'll be doing these until we get tired and then going to alternating, and you'll be able to get more out of it. Big and thick, Hunter. Come on. Big and thick, let's go. Road map. All right, drive it out. Come on. And these are the ones that count. Let's go. Drive. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. One more on each side. Come on. Come on. You can do it, buddy. It's the last set. Let's go. Come on. Drive. Good job, man. That's what I'm talking about. You get the most benefit out of any exercise doing it properly and you know you might have to lighten the weight up to get it done properly but you'll get stronger in the exercise quicker you'll be injury free and it'll be a lot better for you in terms of the results uh, you'll notice when he's doing these he's bringing them from here and coming up and rotating around as he brings it up bringing it up to the top and getting a full squeeze and contraction with this exercise, don't only just curl the weight, but when you get to the top, really actually flex in addition to curling. The pinch you'll get will be incredible. All right, Hunter, let's go. Big biceps. All right, Hunter, reach deep, let's go. Good. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Nice. Good contraction. I want to be just like you when I grow up. <laughs> you're, you're grown up. <laughs> All right, man. Your turn. Normal preacher bench allows for you to hyperextend your bicep. This is a very easy exercise to injure your biceps on. So this bench actually acts as a safety stop, much like you do when you're squatting and have the safety stops to be able to drop out. The bench offers the same thing to you, prevents the hyperextension. 
You'll notice his hands slightly like this. That's because whenever he curls to the top, he's getting a full contraction and really squeezing every single rep. You need a picture to define muscle maturity. You trying to tell me that the muscles are old? Uh, I said mature, not old. <laughs> Come on, squeeze at the top. There you go. Whew. Yeah, right? Right. <laughs> A bodybuilder has to be good at doing hard work repetitively. It's a marathon, it's not a race. And you have to be able to get up every day. You have to be disciplined enough to get into the gym and to train and, and do that consistently. So a bodybuilder is a person who has a lot of persistence. And uh, that's one of the attributes of a champion, you know, to uh, be able to single-mindedly choose a goal and persistently get after that goal every single day. Uh, that is, I think, one of the biggest attributes. And I think it's one of the things that Hunter has. This is the final one, man. You gotta leave it all in the gym, baby. Let's go. Come on. Two more. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. You two ones that count. Go. All right. Dude. All right. Come on. All right. Forget about that pain. Let's go. Come on. Drive. Drive. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Good. Nice. All right guys, so we finished up with our uh, isolated preacher curls on the incline bench. Final exercise of this arm workout is going to be a higher rep easy bar curl. We're shooting for uh, 12 to 15 reps, a couple coaching points. You'll notice how he's really keeping his elbows back and really squeezing at the top of every rep. I know I've been stressing squeezing this whole workout, but it really does make a world of difference when training your arms in terms of the pump and the actual soreness you'll experience. Lean into it. I want to pursue a career in bodybuilding because I feel like I have been blessed with the tools to do it. That being said, if there was a uh, way that it could happen that I could never put on another pound, I could never get 1% leaner, I could never do anything, I would still be training like I am. I genuinely just enjoy coming to the gym, beating myself up, and the feeling that I have afterwards. I love helping people with their stuff. People are always like, I'm not trying to bother you, I just got one more question, I'm like, ask all you want. I'm an open book, I will help you any way I can, because I truly, truly enjoy knowing that I'm making a difference for someone. And I know how much I love seeing my body change in the mirror and seeing myself get stronger in the gym and to be able to help other people do that really is a blessing that brings me a lot of joy. Now's when it starts, come on, at least a couple more, let's go. Come on Hunter, one more. Two more. Two more, two more. Yeah, that's the way, that's the way to do it. All right, one more, one more. Come on, everything you got. Don't think about it, just do it, go. Yeah baby, that's what I'm talking about. Good job. Nice. That was a workout. Your arms look like they're going to explode. I ain't talking about it. <laughs> All right, guys. So that concludes the arm workout for today. Um, just a couple final touching points on how to incorporate this workout into your training. If you have an arm day already, go ahead and just give this workout a try. Implement this one instead of your current one. If you're currently training on a split where you split up your arm, try and incorporate one day into your workout routine that you do this arm workout, making sure that you take enough time after training your arms the other times you do during the week to allow them to recover. Biceps and triceps being a smaller muscle, two to three days should be fine, but always listen to your body. If they're still sore, don't train them. That's how you get hurt, and if a muscle's still sore, it's not recovered. Well, if you have any questions about this workout, any other workout, or training or nutrition in general, shoot me a message on Body Space. My username is just Hunter Labrada, all lowercase, no spaces. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it. It just takes a little bit of consistency and hard work. I promise it'll be worth it, though. For more videos and content like this, come back to bodybuilding.com.